I, sp I spread my leg. I forgot I dug all <laughs> this out. And I've been just kind of jumping off the edge, you know, and landing on the ground. That was usually right about here. And now <laughs> I jumped out. I thought, oh, wait a minute. No, you dug all this out. You're going to go get wood to fill this all in. Yeah, and um, I sprained my leg. Got nine minutes until it's healed. It's all right. We've got, um, we've got nine minutes of walking work to do anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We're on Alpha 21. We need wood for all the stuff we have to do for the laying the foundation of that and then the wall has to be put up. Well, this is our tree farm. I don't know that these guys are actually at the right level. Oh, don't jump. What are you jumping for, dude? Well, they are 1,200. Perfect. Our tree farm is uh, produced. Oh, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to go ahead and do this. I got this on me now. We're not going to forget that and leave it behind anymore. Let's do that and grab this. I'm just going to put the trees back as I cut them down. That way I've got this little patch right here going all the time. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It's Thursday. Man, is it hot here in Arizona. Holy crap. We're on day 21 of temperatures at 110 degrees or above. It hit 119 yesterday. It's hard to be outside. My pool isn't even, like, refreshing. The water's like 92 degrees. It's almost hot tub water. It is hot tub water. <laughs> it's so warm here. It's crazy. Our monsoon has been delayed. Uh, looks like this is going to continue at least until next Tuesday. It, of course, has completely annihilated the uh, number of days we've gone in the past with temperatures at 110 and above. Um... I think yesterday I woke up. No, yesterday by 8 o'clock in the morning, it was 100 degrees here. You know? Crazy. How about you guys? You guys hot? I know Florida, uh, Miami has been just brutal. I saw that yesterday. It's crazy, man. It's so dang hot. Did I put a tree there? I don't think I did. Yeah, I did. There it is right there. So, you know, it, it, the air conditioner's on all the time. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just a hot, hot summer. Stay cool. Stay hydrated. Drink water. Oh, speaking of water, <laughs> I've got that here, but I don't have my cup of coffee. Priorities, people. What the? Uh, I think I put that tree a little too close. There we go. We'll put that right over there. All right, I'm going to chop down a few more trees. I got 3,000, 30, almost 4,000 wood right now already. That's pretty awesome. Resource gathering is a breeze now. You just got to, yeah, you just got to get, um, well, this is, this is a good point. This is a good point. I feel like I can build. I can come out here. I can do this. It doesn't take me... You know, banging on something with a stone axe is frustrating. <laughs> I will give that to anybody. It is nice being able to use uh, iron tools and my stamina doesn't wear down. Okay, there's Billy. You see Billy over there? We're going to shoot him right over the bush. Pew! <laughs> Couldn't even see him anymore. We got him. Got him! Get allowed for that elevation, right? The drop. The drop. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, it was a quiet night. Nothing really happened at all. Although I did get the trench dug out. It's completely dug out and ready for blocks. So I figured I could do that. And I hate to do this to you guys, but we're going to go and check the traders. I got to see if they... There's, there's, there's one particular set of books I'm super interested in right now. And I want to make sure I've got money to buy them when I see them. And that is the vehicle books. We're working our way towards that motorcycle. We got our chem station. I think the next thing that's really going to help out is a motorcycle. I mean, it was said in the comments too that I could save up and buy one, but I'm already going into that tree, so I feel like, you know what? I should just do the work and, and, and you know, make it. Make it myself. That's what I feel like. So that's why I'm going this route. Otherwise, yeah, we could probably save up 30,000 dukes. 
and buy the motorcycle outright, take some sugar butts, make some cheesecake, do whatever we got to do to try to lower the price, even even from there, you know, we could do that. But I don't know. I just, there's something about making it and going out and getting the stuff yourself that is just so rewarding. Uh, like, they're always offering me 25 iron. I, I, or steel, I should say. I'm thinking I might, I should probably take that a couple times, you know? I probably should take that. Um... It'd be a good thing to do because then that would give me the steel I need for especially making uh, what we put the first 25 right into the, um, you know, into the horde base, which you can't see because it's not rendered in. 64% of them. Really? We got 64% on this, huh? I uh, did the farming overnight as well. We are. Uh, doing the corn potato mushroom thing and then i've got uh, aloe here i think what i'm going to do is swap out the aloe for god to be honest guys i don't even need coffee i need coffee for like we go to the snow but to be honest it doesn't take much to break stone anymore and i get so much of it already it's it's really easy to get now um, I think what I want to do instead of these guys here is actually bump up to those wood blocks. I think, do I have them on me? I don't, but we could make them. They do take a little bit longer to, to actually make. Uh, we're going to need about, I'd say 200 of those at least. That's just the beginning of it. But I figure if I do that, that way we can get this kind of put in, put together. I could drop those. I don't need them. Uh, and then we do the nail gun. Um, so I think what I am going to do here is probably put... You know what? Let's go ahead and grab the other blocks back again. I need to... I need to make stairs because, um, you know, my leg's broken. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Just like that. And let's go ahead and... R that. There we go. Now we can walk back and forth from there. I really don't want to put a block. Um, I'm trying to just not hurt my leg anymore. That's all. Two minutes and 38 seconds, huh? Yeah, doesn't like it when you do that. <laughs> it's like, uh, hey. so no jumping, no running, no splashing. You know. Uh, okay, I'll be back. Nothing really exciting is going on at the moment. I need to wait for my leg to heal. I look to see. There doesn't seem to be anything I can do to um, heal it. It's just, it's just a time thing. Sprain leg, 2 minutes, 31 seconds. Sprain, you're slowing down. Take some time to heal. Jumping or sprinting will delay the healing. Uh, further critical hits may result in a broken leg. Max health is lowered by 7.5. So it's just one of those things you just got to let take its course. So that's not a good thing at all. Uh, okay, I'll be back. I made us a tier five shovel, but it really didn't pay off to do that. Um, it still takes two hits, two hits to break the soil with the grass on it. For some reason, this is soil and grass down farther than other places I find it. Um, anyway, so I, I made one, but it really didn't benefit me much at all. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I did overnight that you guys may have missed. I kept the baton just because I want to I want to play with it a little bit and, and have some fun with it. I do like it. It's, it's just basic, but you know, maybe we can find a couple of things for it and it'll make it uh, a little more fun to have. Um, still got time on my broken leg. We're down to 35 steel, 33 iron. We're going to have to go wrenching some stuff to get the steel that we're going to need for the motorcycle when it does come along. And we're almost there. That's why I want to go check the traders again today. I know we just did it, but... That's because radio had a radio moment and didn't uh, pay attention to what he needed. Uh, I need five more books, so it'd be cool if Jen or um, you know Wrecked have uh, some of those vehicle books for us. Uh, but I am going to get this platform put in first, at least the, the floor of it. I want that done, and I need my nail gun for that, and that's going to be right over here. Zoop. All right, there we go. I think oh, there's 45 of those guys right there. Might as well grab those too. All right, beautiful. All right, we're gonna go start nail gunning some stuff together. Again, our base is gonna stretch out over the top of this moat and attach to the uh, edge wall here. 
And we'll have, again, a ways for the zombies to get out of here. And when I say moat, I don't mean filled with water. I'm just meaning a this protective concrete area. And we will eventually, I would like to have um, turrets set up. Like like I said, the uh, just the electric, uh, the, the sensors. Those pressure plates. That could be kind of fun, I think. And just have them come on when something comes over. And if this is going to be the spot, I'm going to test this again and see if this is where the witch is going to come. Uh, but I feel like if I did that, uh, if that is it, we'll set something up to just kind of guard that area. And it'll just be on its own generator, and that generator will just run, I guess is what it'll do. Oh, God, I'm going to have to break those out of there, I think. This is one of the most satisfying things to do in this game. <laughs> I don't think anybody argues that one at all. It is one of the most satisfying ways to uh, just kind of... You really can zoom just right out. What? What? <laughs> what is this supposed to be? What's wrong here? It says there's something here. Can I use the other ones? What's going on here? Um, so, I don't know what to think about that. Um, so I think that's what happened, is that there's a little chunk right there that's got a problem with it. Uh, despite the fact it looks like it's empty, I think there's probably a little something there that is obviously not gone. And it's spreading along there. So what I think I should do is probably log out, log back in, and see if... Um, I could make it happen. Maybe it's something that I can change now that I've, you know, moved some blocks around here. Yeah, I can't put anything there. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get this out of here. You know what? I wonder if maybe I've got some, uh, let's put these in place. That's just so they can get out if they fall in. I have some dirt blocks. Do I have any on me? I don't. Let's let's. I don't know why I came up here. I guess it's smart to just take a look around every now and again. You know, what I mean, jelly bean, because you never know what's going to become running in on you next. Uh, I think I've got some in here. I have ten here. Uh, I could probably use a few more. Let me get some more of those made. I think. You know what? I think I might have some on the crafting table. Let me get some. We're going to try to build the earth up there again and maybe dig it down and see if we can't get it to respond a little bit better right there for us. I can't even put dirt here. What is going on? All I've seen so far is that I've made things worse by taking that block out. Uh, we're trying, we could try though, right? Um, all right, let me uh, let me log out, and log back in. We'll see if it uh, if it uh, starts to cooperate with us here a little bit. All right, keep your fingers crossed for me. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's, uh, okay, so that worked. We tried a few different things, right? But that seemed to work. I wonder what that is, though. That's kind of concerning, though, isn't it? You know, even <laughs> if it's fixed now, well, it's gone, I should say. Um, it's something. I definitely hope they can 
figure out what to do not to have that happen anymore. It was a little disheartening with all the work I put into this area so far. You know, this is a lot, a lot of work. But we're okay. We're good. We're going to have this beautiful uh, trench here that eventually will be turret covered. The zombies will just die. Alright, that's all fixed up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and get these guys uh, upgraded as well. What was the witch? Walking up to the trap. You see her? We're heading right up to the trap. That's where she that's where we want her to go. Well, I kind of expected her down here, but I'm kind of surprised she wasn't down here. She could have come right up on me. We are out of concrete. I'm out of cobble too. I've got a little more cobble downstairs, so I'm not worried about the cobble, but we do need some more concrete, but we probably have enough made down here now that we have uh, we've done a little bit of cooking of it, so I think I can get that floor actually finished right now. And then we're heading out to go see Jen. And wrecked. It has to be done today to see if we get those books. They'd really be beneficial to us. There we go. There we go. There we go. Those spikes aren't going to do anything up there, but there they are. Okay. I think we've got it. The trench is, um, you know, in. Then, of course, we're going to be doing the, you know, this is going to be all wall all the way down along here, the outer edge. And then we will build, uh, we will be able to get a wing off of here over to here and off that side and off that side. And then we can start working on creating the shape of our living area up here. I'm even thinking that it might be kind of cool. It, it'd be, it's going to be huge. It's already, you know, pretty obnoxious, the, the concrete cube here. But I thought maybe... Um, this initial level is being kind of a garage for, well, something we could pull the vehicle into. Um, we can make the uh, drawbridge, so that's not an issue. We can put it up there and have it open up and have some kind of a platform we could drive up on and get to uh, that, then drive in, and then we bring up the drawbridge, and anything that came up on this walkway would fall off and down into there. But I kind of figured this would be kind of a good entrance way for that. This has got more of that weird, wonky ground right here. We just had trouble with this side, but uh, I'm still going to go for it, I guess. I'm going to try to do um, yeah, something that uh, we'd be able to drive up and get up onto that right there would be the idea. And we've got our moat here, and of course, they're not really going to bother much with the structure. I noticed that they don't really deal too much with it. They don't, you know, get all worried about it. They are really focused on coming in in this direction here, which is exactly what I want them to do. It's perfect. All right, cool. All right, and then in the meantime, I think we should also put up some sort of a, well, we're going to be able to do, I'm going to get this part of the wall done first. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's see, that's the ladder right there, right? Right here. I feel like a three wide post. We'll do some uh, deterrent blocks on, well, this is gonna be one big wall here, but then we're gonna do a little something that anchors it down on this side too. And then it's gonna go up and then this will come across uh, and we'll have a couple of these uh, going on here. Well, there'll be something all along here. Yeah, anyways, I've got it in my head. I just need to, uh, we need to spend some time just building it. But in the meantime, right now, we are looking for that motorcycle so we can get out and about and around a little bit faster. Uh, we also, you know what we should do, really? Well, we have to check the traders. That has to be done. The other thing we really need to do is discover where the desert is so we can get, uh, you know, we can start monopolizing on some of that uh, gasoline. Uh, let me put some stuff away. I'll come back and then we'll move forward. You guys can go in there. Welcome back. Well, 
Unfortunately, you've missed most of the day. We had a brown out here. And it destroyed and corrupted my footage. So, uh, we did go see Jen. We're currently in the town of Wrecked. Uh, there's my mini bike. We're at Wrecked's place right now. We just sold a bunch of extra books and magazines that we picked up. Uh, in a bit of a crack a book that uh, I've got marked for us to come back and do uh, another day. Um, really all afternoon, I went to Jen. I went over and I talked to Wrecked. We picked up a few more vehicle books. Let's uh, let's get off of this for a second. I'm going to be driving home in the dark. I'll probably take you guys with me since this is going to be shorter. But we had a brown out. We've got these hot temperatures and the power went out for a few seconds. That, of course, shut everything down. And OBS does not like that when you do that, especially when you're recording. Uh, if we go into motorcycle, we're getting really close now. Very, very close. We're down to... Skill. Two more books. Two more magazines. And we should be at the motorcycle level. Uh, I think in this next episode, we're probably going to come back to Rex Town here. He's got a crack of book that I'm interested in. And it should be... It's marked on our map. Uh, so we're going to do that. And I also want to... You know, check some more mailboxes and stuff on the way out of town as well. I think we probably looked at most of them, but you never know. So I apologize. There's not much I can do about it. The power just went out. It was just for a few seconds, but it's enough to completely wipe out, you know, your your footage. Uh, it becomes corrupted when that happens. So unfortunately, our travels today's episode is going to be shorter, and our travels are not going to be in there. But we did get a big chunk of the base handled, which was great. Really great. I got some chugginess going on in the game right now. Uh, things have been a little weird. The only thing I didn't pick up today that I... Well, let's, let's show you what I picked up today in the bike, too. Including this nest. In my inventory, we have the following. We have some steel. I wrenched down a bunch of gas pumps and stuff today. Some of them were searchable. I wrenched them anyways because I figure we're making gas now, so it's no big deal. We did pick these up, which I could put a mod in and sell. We picked up these iron legs as also. Looks like that gives me a, a, a couple of points up if I wear those. Uh, but they're not level sixes like I have right now, so they're going to hold fewer mods, I believe. A couple of tires today. Um... I got no stone to make arrows. You can see the pieces, parts in here. We've been having some fun with the uh, the, the lightning stick here. And in the bike, we've got the odds and ends. Five glue today, which is incredible. I did stop and get some shale at one of the blown up uh, refinery places. And so we've got a little bit of shale to cook down and turn into some gasoline. The bike is down to 51% repair. Let's see if we can repair this better. Let me get rid of Victoria real quick. Poor Victoria. Uh, so we, we picked up some nice pieces parts today. The steel and the forged iron is really great. Uh, the only thing I really wrenched down was uh, one soda machine and then the rest of it was uh, gas pumps. All the steel came out of the gas pumps. Uh, I'm going to take this home, and then next episode, I want to go see Wrecked, and I want to go see if we can get those. I want to wrap up this vehicle thing and get us to that motorcycle. So what I want to do is I'm going to go back to Wreck tomorrow, and I want to go ahead and um, Wreck's Town and hit that crack of book and see if we can't find the two books we need, the magazines we need to get us to motorcycle stage. Once we do that, of course, we'll be working on getting the motorcycle put together so we can drive around. Uh, and then I would like to go west. If we can head west, that would be great. Jen gave us a find an open trade route mission. It is into the snow biome. So until, well, we've got the puffer coat now. So if I took the puffer coat and some, and, you know, got the, uh, the warm mesh mods put on my clothing, I think we'd go in there just fine and we would be able to... Um, Go find that other trader. I'm, I'm hoping, maybe, God, maybe it'd be a trader Hugh. That would be great. So that's a possibility for next episode, too. We'll put the puffer coat on, go out there into the snow, and see if we can find that trader out there. He is um, open up here, up in this area here. He may not be in the snow. He could be out of the snow, for all I know. 
Uh, but we're going to go up there and we'll check that out. So we'll go to the crack of books, see if we can get our magazines that we need. And then we'll go out and see about that trade route and get that opened up and find out who's out there. So we could take, start taking advantage of that trader too. Then we've got ourselves a nice loop. The only traders we don't have right now is Hugh and Joel. We've got two. Two left to find. So that's going to be the goal, of course. Uh, is this going to take me home? Or am I... Yeah, this is going to take me directly home. Directly home. Perfect. Uh, do I have gas in the bike? I do have some fuel in here. Let's go ahead and refuel. I'm going to go ahead and put the pedal to the metal and get us going so we get home before it gets to be too late into the night. Although I don't know that I'm too concerned about it. I think if there anything else happened today that uh, might interest you guys. Again, sorry. Uh, we'll try again tomorrow. It's just this this heat is really brutal. Uh, I can't imagine how much power the city is actually using each day. It's got to be incredible. You're bound to have some brownouts for sure. I guess that'll wrap it up. Yeah, I guess that wraps it up. I'm almost home. It's not going to take me long to get there. I don't think a whole lot's going to be happening. It's just going to get dark and you're not going to be able to see. So uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, uh, have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. Yeah, next time.